you know you only get 60 days to really enjoy duck season and whether you make a count in those 60 days or not you're limited on those those days and when those days are up you're really looking forward to the next year but you're really searching for something that will get your mind settled on something else and I think we need to all learn how to shift focus and enjoy other things in this world and that's where fly fishing comes in. Very slow, very, very, very slow day. Um, I haven't even seen a fish hit the water, much less be able to fish for it or catch it. Um, I've thrown about every fly in my box, but I, I this is the first day I've fished all year, so I there's there's a I'm not blaming myself, so maybe next time. I, come back in a couple days maybe try a different spot they're just uh i've talked to a couple guys on the water and they haven't nobody's caught anything nobody's even had a bite and i know they're fishing bait casters and i know it makes it 10 th uh, twice as hard with a fly fishing reel to catch bass and which is why i like it i mean it's it's like the difference between rifle hunting and bow hunting so but anyway, uh, I'm going to head back before it gets too dark. I've got to idle pretty much the whole way out just because of how shallow and how many stumps there are. So wish me luck. Until next time. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow will be better.
tell you one of the biggest advantages when it comes to fishing is try to fish during the week because there is zero people here. And I mean zero. We're the only truck at the boat ramp. And on Lake Gunnersville, that is unheard of. So, hopefully it's a good day. Hopefully it's not a bad sign. So, you know. That is the second time he broke my knot. Oh no. I just missed the biggest smallmouth of my life. I've missed two fish today. That were really good fish. Not really what we're going for. 